As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understandeth, there is none that seeketh after God. Why do bad things happen to good people? All my life I've heard people ask that question. And I saw someone asking it again somewhere on social media recently. Why do bad things happen to good people? And I hear this asked repeatedly, even though it's a very easy question to answer if you go by the Bible. And if you don't go to by, go by the Bible, you can have all kinds of answers. You ask the world, why do bad things happen to good people? They're going to say things, oh, well, they invite bad things. It's simple. There is some truth to that. Somebody else might say bad things happen to all people. It's just unfortunate when it happens to good people. And when it happens to bad people, we understand. These are the kind of things you're going to get when you get away from the Bible and you're using, you're using your own reasoning. The Bible makes it clear why bad things happen to good people. And the answer is, it's because of sin. We're sinners. Which means we're not really good. Usually, the people who ask a question like that, Hey, why do bad things happen to good people? They think they're good people. Or they're watching someone that they believe is good go through some trial. And they're sad about it. The Bible says there's none good. The Bible says there's none righteous, no, not one. And that there's none that seeketh after God. The problem is most people don't believe that, what I just said. They don't believe what the Bible says there about us, about people. We're not good, but we think we're good. So we're going to be sad when something happens to somebody. And again, the people who usually ask this think of themselves as good. Also, they doubt God and what he's allowed to play out. They don't trust that he's going to bring it all to a good end for those of us who believe. Now, if you don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as God and as the only way to the Father, well, things are not always going to work out good for you. Why has God allowed things to play out this way? Why do bad things happen to good people? Why do little babies and children get sick? Why does a kindly old grandma get hurt? Stolen from, scammed. It's because of sin. And not just other people's sin, but ours. We need to stop blaming government and other people for the things that are wrong in the world. You and I are contributing to it. You might sit there and say, oh, not me. Is that what you say? Not me. Okay, so now you're a stinking liar. And you just added to the sin in the world. In the first chapter of First John, we see that if we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar. And his word is not in us. Him, his, talking about God or talking about Jesus. So you're calling Jesus a liar by saying you are not a sinner. You're not part of this. You're just a victim. What the Bible says, as soon as we're born, we go astray speaking lies. Before you can even speak, if you want to get technical about it, you're already lying. I always remember seeing a little boy, and this was at a church picnic or banquet or something. And he couldn't talk yet, but he could walk around and grab stuff or whatever. And he was grabbing cookies. And his mother said, hey, don't eat any more cookies. He ate some more cookies. She came along and asked, hey, are you still eating cookies when I told you not to? And with crumbs and chocolate all on his mouth and lips, he shook his head no. He's already lying. I saw this with my own eyes and the thought that went in my head was the Bible so true we're sinners and the only chance we have is to be forgiven 
through what Jesus Christ did for us on the cross. By one man, sin entered the world. That's what it tells us in Romans chapter 5. By one man, sin entered into the world and death by sin. And so death passed upon all men for that all have sinned. That's why bad things happen to good people. That's why bad things happen to bad people. The world was perfect until Adam and Eve disobeyed the Lord. And we put it all on Adam. Sin entered the world through him. Genesis 2, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. You shouldn't ask this question anymore. There should be no confusion about why bad things happen to people. Righteousness, your self-righteousness is as filthy rags. There's nothing you can do to repay your sin debt. For by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. The only good thing is Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ is the living word. The living word. He's talking about the Bible. It's the one true thing you're gonna find anywhere. You can keep searching. You can dive into your own reasoning and intellect and discernment if you want to, but you're gonna find nothing but despair there. Jesus is the only perfect thing and he that is the Lord is allowing bad things to happen to good people because of our sin and because he's going to bring all of this full circle and when you stay with him you're going to end up in a good place and at the end of this, the bad things are going to happen to only the bad people. Technically, no one is good, but the Bible says that those of us who have trusted and believed on what Jesus did for us, the sacrifice he made for us with his own body, it says that we have an, an imputed righteousness. Our righteousness has been placed on us, not of ourselves. It's his righteousness and we're where we are wearing it that's the only thing we can do that's the best we can do and that thief comes only to kill steal and destroy but Jesus is coming that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly mm -hmm.